I might end up getting out a lot of these sounds. 
trying it to go the first time. Since then I was like, oh my god. 
are instructions for assembling a display. So we can go ahead and do that really quick. Why not? economy. Bam. 20% off. 20% off. That's actually super cute. I love that. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna stay. <laughs> We're just gonna lay you down. Lay you down so you
like sweet tarts they're just like a little bit more of a citrusy flavor <laughs> Like, I kind of have a feeling what to expect, and I still want 
Can you bounce? Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. And, en français, ça dit, jusqu'où peut-tu rebondir? Be careful how you say that, English speakers. It could mean something very, very different. <laughs> Le français, ils savent. is made of amazing <laughs> uh, fabrique de l'étonnant zectron I have no idea what zectron is but um it's apparently made of amazing <laughs> and um on the back, I'll just read it to you because it's very small, so sorry that you can't see what I'm doing, but it is teeny tiny, and it says ways to play with Super Bowl, bounce and catch Super Bowl with friends bounce Super Bowl off any hard surface and see how high you can bounce it as somebody who used to play that game th with normal stuff So many things could go wrong. Et en français, ça dit façon de jouer avec Super Bowl. Faites rebondir et rattraper la balle avec vos amis. Faites rebondir la balle Super Bowl sur n'importe quelle surface dure et voyez jusqu'où vous pouvez l'envoyer. That sounds very ominous in French. Not gonna lie. Mais c'est la même chose en anglais aussi, donc c'est pareil. Uh, so it also says the most fantastic ball ever created by science. La balle la plus fantastique, la plus fantastique jamais créée par la science. We are the original. Nous sommes les originaux. <laughs> hey, voice actors, your voice hiring people. Est-ce que vous avez besoin de quelqu'un comme moi? Faites-moi quelque chose. I mean, donne-moi quelque chose. Je sais pas comment dire ça. Hit my line. Tu sais. <laughs> tu sais. Putain. Je fais beaucoup d'erreurs puisque moi j'ai. J'ai assez faim. Euh, mais je suis pas sommeil encore. Oh my god, c'est quoi ça? But, oh, that's so cute! How like <laughs> Meta Wow Like in little baby section Oh my god is this like the little um nesting doll of the five brand <laughs> The it's a mini five brand of the mini brand is that toy Uh this No that doesn't make a sound there's nothing like shaking in it because like these like I'll show you like you can hear things in there. I was hoping it could have a sound of like, yeah, nothing, nothing. It has a very good sound though. Qu'est-ce tu penses? I'll continue. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay. 
it is like a electronic pet, I believe. Yeah. Pet me, caress moi. This is doing chippy. It's a chippy. Although, I feel like the Tim and Eric Awesome Show. There's my chippy. There's my chippy. There's my chippy. Uh, chippy. Chippy, chippy, chippy. I think this is like my favorite one so far because it has so many different like textures and things like that. Okay, and let's... I actually don't want to look at this one because I have no idea what toys are going to be in here and I think it would be a lot more fun to save it and look at it after we've opened the other one so that's what I'm going to do because I feel like the mini brands it's not so much a surprise because this is like stuff that I've seen before and grown up with and I think that with toys that's something that can be very different like depending on like where you grew up or like you know more obvious things like how much money you have growing up or how much money your parents or whoever helped take care of you had growing up. So I think with toys it can be a little bit different. Yeah, this one's going to be really hard to open, so I'm going to do that. Oh shit. Okay, good, I didn't hurt it. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love this. I absolutely adore tiny things. Um, yeah. Oh, this brings me back. I remember the first time I got one of these, and they have the built-in sharpener, and uh, the sharpener is like always like right here in the back. And oh man, I just and I remember being like so like they had to go back where they were. And I remember I would absolutely lose my mind whenever they wanted to go back there. Children shouldn't have those problems. <laughs> you just like realizing you probably had some things going on as a kid. <laughs> of those things that you use if like you have a dog or you've like seen people play with your dog and they have those like little things they usually like pick up the balls on the ground after your dog's been like um like slobbered all over them and stuff it prevents you from having to use your hands and that's what this is this is exactly what it is but it's used to launch water balloons at people Now we put 
these off camera once again. Well, I guess this one's just begging to be open because it's already pretty much opened. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So this is a frisbee. Oh, that's cool. So you can like, like, like if you like we're in the store, this is like how you could do that. You really touch the back of it. Cool. Next. Oh my god, this is so adorable. Oh, I love this. This is a Pets Alive and it is Frankie the Funky Flamingo. And uh, it looks like that they flap their wings and turn their neck. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And what's inside this surprise egg? This full size toy comes with an egg that you hatch, apparently. And we'll look at this after the other two, or the other three. Ah, yay. More stuff for y'all to watch me struggle to assemble. These little thingies are so statically charged. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. Little stickers. Oh, okay, so this is like a display shelf. Let me pay better attention to the freaking instructions. Maybe this one took very long. Okay. Oh. I don't think. These are already on there, and I guess before they didn't come like that. Okay. So we're going to get these two things. We're going to put them in to the second before last. And 
And this looks like it's two down. stay up. It's a little purse set. I'm guessing this is a character from the show. And these two girls are the main characters, I would think. And yeah, this one you probably can't even see, but it looks like this is the character that is the purse itself. So yeah. This and this last one. Oh, it's like another show. Looks like it is fingerlings. Friendship at your fingertips. I am really not sure what this is. Je m'appelle Nelly. <laughs> L'océan est ma maison. I have no idea what this is supposed to do. I'm guessing this is, it looks like it's supposed to be like something you're supposed to like take a bath with. I have no idea, to be totally honest. Um, yeah. Not a toy that I've ever played with. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at this. This is exciting. Oh, 
cool. So, uh, I got a ultra rare of this one, I think. This is a ultra rare. Very cool. Let's see. Yeah, I have some of the common ones down here, like the frisbee crayons. So first we had the frisbee, frisbee, then we got our friend Frankie, l'ami Frankie, ensuite the little shelf, je crois que le mot en français c'est étagère, je sais pas, uh, and then the baby person, a Fingerlings. Going to put this out of frame once again. And this is going to be the last one of the video. And I'm just now realizing that I am opening a total of 20 compartments of four total five surprise toys, correct? And this is also going to be my 20th video. So... that I opened 20 total compartments with the four or five surprise dolls in my 20th video. I didn't plan that. I just realized that just now. So, <laughs> interesting. And if you've made it this far in the video, thank you. I appreciate it. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, I feel like everybody who was alive in the mid to late 90s, you know the chokehold that these had on the candy industry. This and Mentos. Oh my god. You couldn't go anywhere without seeing Chupa Chops and Mentos. And still to this day, if anybody just showed up with a just cart, like just a truckload of chupa chips, I will eat myself silly. I, oh my god, and they have all the flavors on here. Cola, strawberry, apple, oh, oh and the strawberry banana. Damn, that was so good. Oh, I want some chupa chips now, but they're actually, chupa chips are a little bit hard to find in the U.S., they, or at least where I am, it's a little bit hard to find them. They, they are, you can find them in candy stores and things like that, but it's not something that you could typically find at like a grocery store or a convenience store. If you do have these at a convenience store or grocery store, they're not in the um, single pack either. They're usually sold in bulk 
and I'm talking like 20, 50 pieces. And so, um, yeah. Love, love, love Chupa Chups, though. Uh, when I die, bury me in Chupa Chups. <laughs> oh my god. My mom is obsessed with this stuff and she buys it all the time. And I'm always like, Ma, why don't you make guacamole? It is so easy. And she's just always like, well, you know, like it's just, it's just easier sometimes. And I'm like, hey, you could just tell me you don't want to cook it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to judge you. It's okay. But yeah, I love this. It's guacamole, but it's like assembled, pre-assembled. However, I will say that, sorry, my arm's like rubbing up against this, but I, I will say that this is not as good as really making it yourself and i know that it seems like common sense but i feel like that a lot of people here really do like convenience and this can be convenient especially if you are busy or you're in a like for instance like if you're at work and you're like i know i can't mash up avocado chop up onion tomato jalapeno whatever you it's not possible that is like an okay substitute or if you're like running late to a party <laughs> and you're like i can't just show up empty-handed it would be appreciated better than just you know something else that's not as good a dip oh wow very nice i love 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 this is a kid however real ones know that the model world ones are they just don't get me wrong kool-aid bursts uh, it's like it feels like almost like a little bit squishy too but it's not like just like the real thing i have no idea how to describe it but it's like it gives a little bit like it like like under the pressure but it doesn't break i don't know like my spirit just kidding i'm sorry it's very late <laughs> and we are reaching those hours where i am losing it oh we got only this is the first and only hopefully um repeat i've had not bad I love it. This is very, very cute still. And I like the way that the sound it makes. T. Alright, my friends, the last slice of the night. Why did it sound like Noma John when I said that? Actually, this stuff is, in my opinion, the best stuff to, if you want to make s'mores, right, you get, like, maybe a little bit of milk chocolate, but you get mostly dark, and you put them together, like, you put the milk chocolate on one side, and then the dark chocolate, like, top and bottom, you know, and then you sandwich the marshmallow. This is really good for that. It's like you put it in there. I also, um, I make really good, uh, I, I for, always forget the name, but I've seen people call them stuff like, um, like lizard cookies or whatever. It's like a, it's like a type of chocolate cookie, but, um, it cracks in the oven when it's baking. Like, I, the best way I can describe it is it looks like lava, like after it's done cooking. And, um, yeah, it's, I, whenever I was still working in an office, all my coworkers would be like, oh, I call brownie cookies is what I called them. Because it's supposed to be like the cookie is supposed to be like the best part of a brownie. Because everybody always wants like a corner piece 
right? Because the corner pieces, it's not going to be a little bit too moist like the pieces towards the middle. It's going to have that crispiness of the rounded corner, baking it. And so what those cookies would do is that they would emulate that crispiness. And people would just go absolutely insane for them. And um, I use this sometimes. And it worked really well because um, if you bake and you, I mean, I don't know if this is the case with other chocolate in other places, but I think in the U.S. because it's so processed that the little chips, like the chocolate chips that you could get for baking and stuff, they don't always melt very well for me. And that recipe calls for it to be just I wouldn't say watery or even syrupy, but it needs to be like a very thick consistency that's still pliable and that is melted all the way through. And for me, those things burn so quickly sometimes, but for some reason, this stuff doesn't burn as easy. And so, yeah, I like it. I don't think I got any. Just double check in. I don't think I got any oh, rare, rare ones or anything like that. Yeah, I think it just got only common ones, it looks like. Which, I mean, that's okay. I think that I'm happy with getting one <coughs> of the uh, rare ones from the other one. The ultra rare, actually. <laughs> check me out. Well, my friends, let's bring everything out here and see if I can, <laughs> yeah, I won't be able to display anything, but yeah, look at all my mini brands. All my ASMR videos have personalities in these. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so we have Super Bowl, Chupa Chups, Animal Crackers, Hershey Stark Chocolate, Craft Ranch, Frankie the Flamingo Pets Alive, Frisbee, McCormick's Black Pepper, Crayola Crayons, a bunch of balloons, a balloon blaster. And Kool-Aid bursts, a little mini kitty purse, fingerlings, holy guacamole, two spreads, two spreads, two spreads, little mini ball, mini brand ball, chippy, chip chip chippy, here's my chippy. Design. Design. I saw the sign. I'll save your ears and stop the song. And then this one. Boom. That was actually really fun. I enjoyed this. I don't enjoy a lot of the packaging, like how other people have said. But I think that it's more of like it has to add to the surprise of the fun. I mean... <laughs> Adding the fun to the surprise. Um, but yeah, I very much so enjoyed making this and I thoroughly enjoy that you hope like liked watching it. <laughs> Clearly I should end the video because I'm having a hard time speaking, or at least speaking properly. It's always easy to talk. I could talk forever. But yeah. I really enjoyed this. And I hope that you, you, have a good evening, night, good sleep. Bonne nuit, j'espère que tout va bien. Et tout va bien. Yeah, I hope that you're well. I hope that you'll be well. And I hope that everything is well with you. If it's not. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Everything
everything will be fine. I promise. Things always seem a little bit dark when going through them, but with the right people and with listening to yourself, you can make it through. see you even though you don't see me right now but I will see you